I'll, um, well, I won't go through a lot of the detail I planned on, but what I will do, um, we'll send out one more YAG handout, um, and it's a flowchart of the awards process. Um, and the, really the big thing I just want to mention with the awards process, you may receive the award directly as a PI, or it may come to sponsored programs, or it may come to your department. Whatever fashion it comes, make sure you send it to sponsored programs. There are, um, I say more times than not, where a PI is needing to start spending money, doesn't know where the award is, and it's hugging up on somebody's desk somewhere. So make sure you get it our way so that it can be reviewed, signed, and sent on. Um, and like I said, the handout is going to you know, explain kind of point by point, kind of how, what's routed when um, with the awards. And the other thing, I don't have this in a handout, but some of this is on our sponsor programs website related to some non-financial matters. Um, if you need to begin pre-spending an award, contact sponsor programs. We'll walk you through what needs to you know, be done in order for that to happen. When it comes to budget revisions prior to the award, um, we may be asking you, um, you know, the sponsor may be funding you less than what's funded. We'll work with you um, to get the lower um, budget changes and scope of work change if, um, if it is a drastic difference. Uh, time extensions as well, um, that those need to be routed through sponsor <coughs> programs to request the extension from a sponsor. Um, in some cases, those extensions, we may already have the authority to grant it, but in others, we may need the sponsor's approval for that. Uh, PI transfers, um, now's the time of year where new faculty may be coming to the university. If you've got faculty staff that are bringing awards with them, uh, make sure you contact <coughs> our office. We'll walk through with you with what needs to happen for those awards to be transferred to NDSU. On the reverse side as well, if you've got <coughs> faculty staff that are leaving NDSU, please contact us, we can work with you um, to um, help you understand what that process is, um, whether awards need to be transferred out or PI or change in the PIs on those faculty that are leaving. Um, and then there are budgets of funds into equipment. Um, those requests come through our office as well. Um, like I said, I won't go through the details, but come talk to us and we'll walk you through that process. And lastly, all other requests that need sponsor approval, those need to come through sponsored programs. I think some of the questions earlier related to budget changes. Um, for a lot of the budget changes, that those can happen between your department, grant and contract accounting. Um, we're only involved, um, again, if there's a change in indirect costs or um, sponsor approval is necessary. 30 seconds or less. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. This is very helpful. But yes. once in a while, there's a hang up between three and four. We know it gets sent here and then we don't hear anything and like we don't know who to call. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, like, exactly. Because the, right. Yes. Uh, and I would mention um, because I get those questions all the time you know, what's the status of the award? What's going on? Is it over a grant contract? Is it not? Um, a lot of the times, it's one of two places. Either it's in my stack of awards to get to, which I haven't gotten to, or it's in the process of being sent to the sponsor or we're waiting for signatures back. And so I, you know, and it does, I mean, it, sometimes we send it to the sponsor and they don't realize it's at their office um, or whatever, who knows what happens. But, um, you know, we, yes, if you give me a call, send an email, um, I'll certainly take a look and see. So that's okay to bug you if we have it it for is. a while and it's you yep. and we should. <laughs> yeah, when it comes. Yeah. How many weeks would you say to give you once? I know you have a stack that talked to you one yeah. time and there were 12 people out of mine. So what's the, because our, on my end, they're always asking, is it signed, is it signed? I'm like, you are dealing with a large university here. Yeah. So what should I give the, the funder as far as time? Time frame? You know, again, it, it's sort of that it depends. What I would say, um, this time of year, when you look at from April to September, that is our busiest time when it comes to awards because the federal agencies are trying to get stuff out. State agencies are commodity groups. And so in terms of the volume for me, that my time is like <coughs> tripled when it comes to the awards because you know, I may see 60, you know, 50, 60 in a given month. When it comes to this and that time frame, I'm at 110 or more in a given month. And it just, it, it's busy. So as far as time frame, 
Um, I really, really, really try hard to make sure I've responded to everything within 30 days. I try hard at that. It doesn't always happen, but I at least you have some attention to it. Um, and as far as the timing to get negotiation, you know, final negotiation, again, that's going to depend on the sponsor. If it's USDA, it's review, sign, out the door. Now, when it comes to some other, whether it be like a private company uh, for, that's a federal flow through, it took me about a year and a half on one um, because it was a lot of work with the attorneys trying to negotiate IP terms, other things like that. Um, so it, it really, you know, it really depends on the circumstance and it de depends on the agreement. If the agreement has very standard terms and there's means no negotiating, those can get quickly turned down, turned around in less than a month. But it, it really depends on what we get. And sometimes it's not just private companies, sometimes foundations as well. Um, it can be a little sticky. But again, um, I think as Julie and some of the grant coordinators have mentioned too, um, we're here to help, not to be a hindrance. Um, and so we, you know, if you have questions, um, concerns, if things are taking longer than you anticipate, um, you know, I'd rather you give us a call. You know, there may be good reasons um, why, or it may be simple things that we need to look at process changes or adjustments, things that maybe made sense at one time that don't make sense anymore. So, anyway, yes. Oh, um, yeah, that we, Marie and I um, have really tried to encourage people to send questions to the NDSU research listserv because, um, well, in, let me just kind of preface that. If you have proposal questions, generally that's going to be all Marie. Award questions generally is going to be me. If you have that mix of interpreting guidelines, time extension requests, some of that, send those questions to our NDSU research listserv. Because if I'm on vacation, Marie's on vacation, or either of us are sick, at least one of us will respond. And we can both see it. At least we'll that see it. And that's on our website. And that's on our, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank where we have tried to really focus on extension and pull all of these pieces together. And so your feedback will be appreciated. There were some topics that came up. Carl brought up a good one that um, I mentioned to Charlie Carroll, and we will follow up on that one. It had to do with the IACUC thing, and we'll, 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 we'll work on that. We'll try to follow up on any of your other questions. A piece that I would request of every presenter who had a handout, if you will see to it that I get emailed a copy of it, we did our best to do just a video recording. We're going to take some clips of it, put it on our website with some of the handouts, you know, just some little um, chunks of information, chunk it out. And we'll see what it turns out like, and hopefully the people who couldn't attend will at least have an opportunity to review some of that. So we may follow up. We talked about how once it's awarded, now it goes over to grants and contracts with the um, purchasing people and all that kind of stuff that we go through. Maybe we'll follow up and do something on the, like that down the road, but this was our effort to try to share and improve grants, uh, excuse me, proposals and grant writing. So thank you guys again very much. Bye.